Greetings, October 23rd here, 2012. I'm with the photo of uh, Mira Steiner and her sister Zdenko of Zagreb, oh, what used to be called Yugoslavia. Um, this is Mira on the right. Now Zdenko, who survived the uh, war and Holocaust, has her hands on Mira's waist here. They're both wearing garlands. The photograph was taken in a park probably, uh, I believe, in 1937. Zdenko, the survivor, her son, she married a uh, Croatian Jewish Holocaust survivor. They lived in Haifa after the war. Her son is a friend of mine named Danny, who teaches uh, uh, math at Ithaca College in upstate New York, where I met him uh, in 2002. I was on my way to my second teaching trip at the uh, Yad Vashem Holocaust Memorial. Uh, for an international conference in the Holocaust education. I met Danny again in 2006 when we both presented workshops uh, at my th my third conference at Yad Vashem. And then he uh, loaned me uh, photographs of his mother and Mira. This is a, a photocopy enlargement of one of them, um, which I then blew up even larger and did the uh, getting uh, some cast shadow here from uh, um, things in my uh, studio here. We're blocking the... Uh, overhead light, but we can get a general idea, a good idea of the whole drawing here, which is uh, pen and ink and gouache and maybe a little bit of colored pencil. We have, uh, so there's the garlands on her head, uh, her sister's hands on her waist. There's the, uh, an upside down depiction uh, from a, I did in color from a black and white reproduction of a page in the famous Sarajevo Haggadah. Um, we have some Chinese letters here, uh, more over here, a, uh, the fish which I took out of this dried uh, package of fish I bought at a Vietnamese grocery in Seattle in 2006 or 7, uh, which was called, uh, at least in the English portion of the packaging, Jewfish, which I found rather intriguing, goes along with uh, Wandering a Jew plants uh, and the, the kind of bizarre use of uh, how the name and word Jew ends up in other dimensions in the worldwide. We have a uh, metal printing plate I bought at a shop in Jaffa in 2002 or 2005, which says Beograd, which in English is Belgrade, which worked nicely in there. Uh, the uh, on the right side of the mosaic, we have the Aleph, beginning of the Aleph Bet, the Hebrew alphabet, going all the way up. You'll notice uh, railway spikes, uh, which show up in, uh, I think, two or three mosaics in the 1985 artwork called Elie Sin, about Elie Wiesel and the uh, um, imagery pertaining to uh, anti-Semitism and uh, the Holocaust. A Star of David here. We have a... Uh, uh, long, uh, the head of a fish here, there's the eye with its very long mouth, including all these uh, teeth, kind of sharp looking uh, teeth, what I call like an arg fish. Um, metal parts of um, candlestick holders and, and so on. There are four of those embedded. A fanciful fish from my imagination with uh, dominoes here from a childhood domino set. Um, the stone I bought at, a, uh, at the gift shop at the Montrose Scotland History Museum, that's on the east coast of Scotland. Vaha'er e Nenu, a very beautifully melodic song sung in synagogues at the Saturday morning services, uh, is here, Vaha'er e Nenu. And we have the uh, uh, a portion, one small section of the exterior of the Sabatica Synagogue in Serbia. Uh, with all the uh, arches here and one larger arch here. Those are, this is a very large photocopy enlargement I did in terms of doing the mosaic to scale. This is a photograph from a book called Synagogues Without Jews. The authors uh, Rahel and Ben Zion Dorfman. And I had the pleasure to meet the Dorfmans in uh, April 2002 after I left Ithaca. It was at this conference at Yad Vashem in Jerusalem where they both attended uh, a workshop I was presenting on the art of Toby Noble Fluick, a uh, Polish-Jewish Holocaust survivor who became a 
painter and uh, did the beautiful uh, paintings in this book published called Memories of My Life in a Polish Village, 1930 to 49, which I had found so first at the library. Another uh, ARG fish here, which is how I do art therapy myself in some of my uh, Holocaust and Shoah artworks. On the very bottom here, this is the last part I'll talk about, uh, below the green uh, kind of gray slate, but uh, and between the slate and the bottom horizontal shelf here, there's I don't know, must be 20 to 30 or so, rocks and stones, uh, broken tiles, and one bone, which I picked up on walks around Jerusalem uh, uh, 2005, six and seven teaching trips. One of the stones, I don't remember which one, is from the cemetery where Oscar Schindler is buried, a Christian cemetery in Jerusalem. The upper level of the cemetery is a Christian Arab. The uh, lower level has a lot of Polish, uh, Catholic uh, graves. There was a whole Polish community in, in uh, Palestine pre-state in 1948. Oskar Schindler was not Polish, but he was Catholic and German and is buried in the cemetery. Someone did ask me once, how could you bring a stone back from the cemetery? And I mentioned, well, there's no shortage of stones and rocks in Israel and in Palestine. Far from it. A lot of sand also. Anyway, there you have it. Mira Steiner, 1923 to 1941, murdered at a very young age on the island of Pag on the Adriatic coast off of Yugoslavia, opposite Italy in the, by the Mediterranean. This will be exhibited this coming uh, April 2013. Those in Seattle and Puget Sound, I hope you'll see it. It'll be up at the uh, Seattle Central Community College exhibit up the entire month. There'll be uh, another uh, exhibit uh, at the same time uh, at the Hillel Center by the UW campus. There you have it. Thank you. Under the Wings of God, number 59, Mira Steiner.